When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. You are so close to your goal at this point, it doesn't even seem like a bother to go through all the annoyances and grievances pregnant women experience. Here is a list of suggestions and answers to any questions you might be having about your 34th week of being pregnant. In this video we will talk about these things. Number 1 Your baby's growth during pregnancy, week 34. Number 2 What is the baby size? Number 3 Common body changes. Number 4 Symptoms of pregnancy at week 34. Number 5 Belly at 34 weeks of pregnancy. Number 6 at 34 weeks ultrasound. Number 7 What to eat? Number 8 Tips and care. Number 9 What you need to shop? Number 1 Your baby's growth during pregnancy, week 34. The 34th week of pregnancy is going to show well established sex markers, with boys and girls easily differentiable. Your baby's fat has now fully filled out the wrinkly skin, making it smooth and robust. The immune system and lungs get stronger and more independent of your body. As the fetus brain connections now number in the trillions, it is even possible for it to dream occasionally. Now that your uterus is at near maximum capacity, any shift in position will be easily felt by you. In fact, your baby might even be able to perceive your warm touch through your abdomen. Preterm delivery around this point is completely safe, excluding a short stint in the hospital, and you will ready to take your little one home in no time. Don't worry if you don't experience labor around the due date, as that only happens in 5% of all cases. Number 2 What is the baby size? 34 weeks pregnant baby size is almost 45 centimeters from top to bottom, around the size of a large pumpkin. At slightly over 2 kilograms, your baby is still going to grow some more. His, her skeleton is hard by this time, except for the skull bones which remain soft to allow passage through the birth canal. Number 3 Common Body Changes Week 34 will bring its own challenges to the table. This week you will experience another host of body changes during pregnancy hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are caused due to factors such as constipation and hormonal activity during pregnancy. Much like last week, you stand the risk of developing painful swellings in the anal or perineal area. Medications and kegel exercises are options for some relief. Discharge from the vagina. Another common symptom is mucus secreted by your vagina in preparation for birth. This is caused by the influx of estrogen, which promotes blood circulation around the vagina. Swollen feet. Your feet and ankles might continue to suffer from edema due to all the fluid collecting in them. Opt for comfortable footwear that has soft padding to ease your swollen feet. Stretch marks. Worse on light skin people than dark skin people, if you are at your 34th week of pregnancy these cannot be avoided. However, their extent can be reduced by controlling your weight gain under medical supervision. Discharge from breasts. Your body is making close trim for when your baby is born, and your breasts have decided to leak it early. Wear absorbent pads inside your bra to avoid embarrassing situations. Number 4 Symptoms of Pregnancy at Week 34 Constipation The expanded uterus now takes up nearly all your abdominal space, forcing your bowels into a corner. This will tend to make your bowel movements rather irregular. Consuming enough fiber and water should ease the discomfort. Bloating Gassiness is extremely common during pregnancy due to the slowing down of digestion with anxiety worsening the situation. Try a few breathing exercises to ease the stress. Cramps. Carrying around all that weight and lack of sleep band together to create painful leg cramps. Difficulty breathing. A frequent symptom of late stage pregnancy, it occurs due to your lungs being compressed by the uterus, thereby unable to draw full breaths. Avoid activities like running, climbing stairs and so on if you have shortness of breath. Staying up all night. Anxiety, cramps, bloating and constipation are simply going to keep you up all night. If you just can't fall asleep, try watching television or reading a book. Number 5 Belly at 34 weeks of pregnancy. In your 34th week, you can expect your abdominal region to stretch to around 45 centimeters from top of the uterus to the lower pelvic region. 
An interesting thing to note is that the volume of the amniotic fluid is much higher at this point than at any other point during your pregnancy. Your uterus is now up to 1000 times bigger than before it had a baby in it. Number 6 at 34 weeks ultrasound. Going for ultrasound scans every alternate week is standard procedure at this point. Your doctor might even prescribe a non-stress test or a biophysical profile which can tell if there's something wrong with the baby's breathing or heart. The scan can show you your baby's movements in real time, such as breathing or moving around the uterus. If you want, you can see the intimate details of your baby's face and body with a 3D ultrasound. Number 7 What to Eat Eating a balanced diet is crucial for your and your baby's health. Consume several portions of fresh fruits, vegetables, whole grains and dairy at this. Eat more often but smaller meals so you can avoid heartburn. Some of the dietary changes to make in your 34th week pregnancy food are Vitamin D, C and K are essential in bone and teeth development, as well as boosting immunity. Vitamin D can be consumed via supplements but exposing your body to sunlight for 10-20 minutes a day also does the job. Vitamin C can be found in leafy greens, lean meats, and citrus fruits. Finally, vitamin K can be found in foods like cauliflower, cabbage, beans, pomegranate, spinach, and soybean. It is certainly time to have omega-3 fatty acids to have your baby intellectual capacity reach full potential. Fish oil and flax seed oil are both available to suit any interest. Drink 3 liters of water a day minimum to stay fighting fit for your delivery. Number 8 Tips and Care Below are a set of activities that you should and should not do while pregnant. Do's Perform some exercises to ensure your baby is in the ideal position for delivery, that is head downwards with his face towards your spine. Some exercises use a chair or birthing ball, so you can exercise by keeping your pelvis leant forward. It might help to go see the hospital where you are thinking of giving birth. Observe the labor and birthing words of the hospital and complete any paperwork you might have to. Don'ts. Dieting is not fun, and while you're in the third trimester, it's outright dangerous. Your baby and you both need considerably more food than usual, so cutting them out will cause complications. Instead, ignore unhealthy foods such as alcohol and spicy food. Don't forget to perform kegel exercises, and don't be embarrassed about them. Kegel exercises make the pelvic floor stronger, they can ease pain caused by cramps and hemorrhoids. In addition, this exercise improves the chances of a smooth delivery. You can also perform the pelvic tilt, which can help ease any backache. Number 9 What you need to shop? Make sure your baby has a nice warm home to come to, whether he or she is spending his, her time in your room or his own room. Modernity clothes are always first on the purchase list and there are several stylish options available. Keep sufficient stocks of diapers, bottles, nursing bras, and baby clothes. Buying a little pram will also make it easier for you to get your baby to your home or neighborhood. As the time draws closer towards your final day, do your best to stay calm by talking to your friends and family. You're almost past the finish line so just keep what you're doing and you're as good as gold.